So the next thing to happen on AEW Dynamite, we get to the next match of the night, which was a tag team match. It was John Moxley and Claudio Castanoli with Willie Uda at ringside the Blackpool Combat Club versus Brandon Cutler and Michael Nakazawa in a tag team match. And yeah, the Blackpool Combat Club started attacking uh, Nakazawa and Cutler before the match even started, busting both of them open and stuff. Uh, Michael Nakazawa was trying to fight back and same for Brandon Cutler a few times. But at the ending, obviously, it was enough when we see uh, Moxley hitting the Death Rider onto uh, Brandon Cutler and stuff, laying him out after he hit Vicious Larry onto him, Vicious Clothesline. Uh, so, yeah. And then we see uh, Claudio Castanoli coming in there, hitting the uh, his power bomb onto uh, Michael Nakazawa and laying him out as well. So, yeah, I guess the match ended like in a no contest or something. But, yeah, that's what happened there. But then, after the match ended, uh, and the Blackpool Combat Clubs obviously just keep on beating down uh, Brandon Cutler and Michael Nakazawa and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden, Kenny Omega's theme song hits. So here he comes walking down, but he stops in his tracks and stuff. So yeah, Omega's out there, and he stops in his tracks uh, on the ramp and stuff. Uh, John Moxley's outside of the ring waiting for him to come down, while Claudio Castanoli and Willie Uta's inside the ring and stuff. But then, all of a sudden, we see Matt and Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks, behind uh, Claudio and Wheeler, uh, they turn around, they get hit with the super kicks from, uh, the Young Bucks and stuff, and then Moxley gets in the ring trying to fight with them, and, uh, Omega gets in the ring brawling with, uh, Moxley and stuff, um, Claudio and Wheeler gets taken out of the ring, and then all of a sudden we see, uh, the Young Bucks hit the BT trigger onto, uh, John Moxley laying him out, Kenny Omega gets out of the ring, and then Omega grabs his toolbox, and stuff about to hit Moxley with it, but then uh, we see uh, Matt Jackson stop uh, Kenny Omega and he gives him a screwdriver and to pretty much stab John Moxley upside the head. Moxley's calling for him, and then Claudio comes up dragging Moxley out the ring before it happens because Kenny Omega ran up to him, tried to hit him with it, and he stabbed a turnbuckle and stuff. So, yeah, that's what happened there. Pretty good stuff, though. And then after that, we see uh, Tony Schiavone interviewing uh, Swerve Strickland, and he's with Brian Cage and Prince Nana, and they were talking about how they are actually happy, and uh, Darby Allen's uh, learning from Swerve, Strickland, Swerve Strickland's legacy and all that stuff. So yeah, that's what he was talking about, and then uh, pretty much that, saying that uh, Brian Cage will be in the match soon. So yeah, that's what happened there. But for that match with Moxley and them, I'll give it uh, one and a half stars. That's why I'll give it, it was okay. So yeah. But next, we're going to be seeing Ruby Soho and Tony Storm versus Riho and Sky Blue up next in a tag team match. And still to come later on tonight in the main event, Chris Jericho versus Keith Lee 101. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on AEW Dynamite. See you guys later until then.